I believe by and large people who are opting for the new regimes are the new taxpayers. And the old tax for old taxpayer, see long term saving having made commitment and there being statutory requirement, it becomes difficult to switch over to the new model. So now take the case of the people who are employed. Now under the PF Act, employee contribution is mandatory. So you 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 have to contribute as an EPF and then you you are entitled to claim a deduction under Section 80C. So you you feel prefer better to uh, continue with the old regime. Similarly, if you have taken an insurance policy on your life and you have already made a commitment of a particular premium every year, now you have your duty bound to pay that premium every year. And if you are paying that, you would obviously like to claim exemption and you would get, like to take the benefit of that deduction also. Same is the case with the other savings that's a scheme which your people have. Public provident fund is continues to be quite attractive because the interest income is also exempt and what you contribute that is also exempt and what you get back later on that is also exempt. So that is the model which I believe is uh, I think people are still preferring, but it will taper down over a period because as you uh, as the time passes on your commitment to contribute to the LIC or uh, life insurance premium, public provident fund or repayment of the housing loan, etc. These will taper down and obviously uh, more and more people will like to prefer to the switch over to the new, new new scheme because it gives you more money in your hand. You are more comfortable because, they, because you are free to do whatever you want to do on that part. But another aspect, there may be some people, I think there can be a class of uh, taxpayers which believe for shorter security in the life later on the future in retirement, they need to continue with the investment. They need to have, if the family compunction, there is only one bread earner. So he will like to prefer to have an insurance policy and in case premium is being paid and is eligible for deduction, he will like to continue. Similarly, you would like to have something, a scheme like NPS, etc., where you get a, some annuity or payment of the pension or retirement. So it will continue, but over a period, I definitely the way the finance minister has announced the new regime and which ultimately appears to be uh, beneficial overall for the individual taxpayer, except when you are looking for a social security or when you have made already commitment. So probably over a period, I will see down the line, maybe three to five years, it will taper down and you will have a higher number of the news. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.